One more 12 and then we're on the little ones. Okay. God dang. I'm gonna go grab another towel. It's not ours. Do we have one? Yeah, we have you, one. We got some. You got some? Okay. It's just, this makes my hands so slippery and then it gets all over everything. Awesome. I just hate getting all my tools nasty because then I have to clean them up. Yeah, I got this for more if we have a bunch of them. Cool. <laughs> get, you should get, just get them out. There we go. Okay. No air. Oh yeah, one more twelve. Oh, I'll do. Oh no, it's got crap on it from the JB Weld. First guy. Okay, so now I need the tip. Okay. So uh, were you right on the 27? Did you look at the chart? I forgot to look when we were looking at that chart. See if that was the right one. I said it was 24. Now it's 27. Or 7? Okay. So we'll have a few more little ones to find. So that's 24 right there. Oh, I see one. Where? Inside, up there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I saw that one earlier, too. Okay. And I see another one. Where at? Straight, pa yep, right there. Yep. Oh. No? Where? That's not it? Way up there? Yeah. No, that's the crankshaft, uh, the rod bolt. Okay. Yeah. What about those two oh. little ones? Oh, no. Those... Let's see, I got that one there. Seven. Uh, <coughs> what do those look like? Uh, these. Okay. We had those and we had big ones, but I think we got all the big ones. Let's okay, see, where's that chart again? It's not really want to get the chart out. Uh, yeah, 27. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across the front. We got those. Then two, four, six, eight big ones across the middle. Another little one, another big one. Two big ones and a little one real tight together. Two big ones and a little one, okay. Those are all nuts. And then two little ones, caddy corner inside, a little one outside, and five across the back. Two little ones, caddy corner inside, a little one, a little one, and five. One, two, three. It says five across here somewhere. Oh, maybe I, no, yeah, that's where I go. Four. One, two, three, and one. Okay, three are in line. One, two, three. And then it says this one is offset, so there's the inside. Oh, right there. Ah, there might be some top ones going down. And you know what? It did tell us we had to take out the starter. I wonder if there's one under the starter. Wouldn't that be crazy? Okay, so what size is that one? That's a little one. Where'd that sucker go? Right up there. That's Might a 10. Have a hmm? oh, what were you guys using? 10? Yeah. I don't know if I can get this gun up in there. Yep. Perfect. Blue? You see it move? Yep. Three, I think, unless the backside has something that uh, we're missing up top. Let me give it a good whack. Yeah, ah! go from uh, this, since that side's loose, go from this backside here.
Uh oh. This is the point of no return. Okay, unhook that chain there. Okay. Okay, so now let's stop and read. Okay. Because we've got the the tranny just dropped straight out. Looks like the shift fork stayed in line. Uh, to remove the lower engine that's cover, on the crankshaft, remove that's the metal the radiator. Okay, we're C shaped. Okay. See, this looks like the clutch has to come off to get this out. It goes that way. I don't know. We didn't do the clutch cover thing or whatever, but. Is this got a big bolt in the center? No. Yeah, so you just got to take this out, pop all the things out, and then there's a bolt under there that takes this whole clutch basket off. Here is a shot of the bolts laid out by my <laughs> Whoa, he says. No, clutches are easy. It's, it's the one thing you should never be worried about doing yourself on your bike. Clutches are a piece of cake. It's just loosening them up, take the springs out. The large radiator hose on the right side of the engine and some other cylinder that coolant goes into. I just loosen the bolts and then let them set since they basically lock with the lower engine casting. These are here, are the, the sixth gear and then the second gear. Carefully grab the gear stack. Take note that the end opposite the front sprocket does not have anything to hold the gears on the shark. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that. So this isn't the number two gear. This is six, yeah. and this is what engages six. So when the when the shift fork engages, bam, you're like that. And then two is over here, engages that. Oh yeah, okay. So here's two, and here's five, probably. That's a weird one. Let's loose like that. Turns the sprocket to this gear. Oh, I guess they're all loose like that. It's weird. So as you're on the power, and then when you get off it, it gives some slack. <laughs> Strange. Pretty simple design, though. Just shift this way or that way, and then shift this way or this way to engage those gears. Huh, very simple. But so this extra gear shaft up there, the, these are probably the primary drive. Um, yeah. Okay. So primary drive. Okay. So we need to get the the hole. You need the forks with the shift shaft. You said. Yeah, and the shift guides. And then okay, and then you need this upper shaft, right, of gears. Yeah. You need both sets, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna have to take that clutch off. What's the drum thing? What's that thing? Uh, that's your shift shaft. That's this weird thing with the, oops, that's with this thing here. Oh. With the cog in it. Yeah, because as you turn this, this goes one way and then the other. So as you're going up oh, shifting, okay, cool. it pushes it this way. Right oh, that's the, the sir, clip. that's sir clip, yeah. It's only half a one? Yeah. Or is there two halves? No, just half a one. Where did that fall out of? Um, it, seat number two. It fell out. Okay, from this end. God damn it. It says, here's, carefully grab the gear stack. Take note that the end opposite the front spot, sprocket does not have anything to hold the gears on the shard. Be careful Shit. that the... Okay. The, be careful that the gears do not fall off the shaft mix. I simply pulled the gears off the shaft one by one and placed them onto a clean surface exactly the way they were removed. Okay. I was gonna we'll see if we can get it all out at one without pulling it off. Because if we, as long as this isn't a high pressure fitting, we should just be able to, once this is off. So, okay, so I'll show you how to do the clutch real quick. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh wow, is there, we got more rags? Yeah, we have rags. Well, here, I'll just use this one to soak up the heavy stuff. 